Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before proceeding further, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pane and watch video completely. If you find some are important, then pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have find any difficulties or problem, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Let's see what the question says. The question says, a disk of radius A by 4 having a uniformly distributed charge, 6C is placed in the XY plane with its center at minus A by 2, comma 0, 0. A rod of length a carrying a uniformly distributed charge 8C is placed on the x axis from x equal to a by 4 to x equal to 5 a by 4. Two point charges minus 7c and 3c are placed at a by 4, comma minus a by 4, comma 0 and minus 3a by 4, comma 3a by 4, comma 0 respectively. Consider a cubical surface formed by six surfaces x equal to plus minus a by 2, y equal to plus minus a by 2, and z equal to plus minus a by 2. The electric flux through this cubical surface is, you have given four options, minus 2c by epsilon naught, option b 2c by epsilon naught, option c 10c by epsilon naught, and option d 12c upon epsilon naught. This question is asked, J 2009. I believe that there is no matter how the big question. Let us first, we have to find out the central concept of the question. Then you feel that the question big, make it easy. So let us first, what is the given in the question? You have given disc, rod and two points. Here, the locations of the disk is the central point of the disk is minus a by 2, comma 0, 0, and the charge is given 6c, and the rod, its one end is a by 4 and 5 a by 4, and total charge is given 8c, and the two points, there are two points. Point charges minus 7c and this is 3c. Its so location is given according to the question a by 4 minus a by 4 0 means its coordinate is a by 4 minus a by 4 and 0. And its coordinate is what is the coordinate is given? Minus 3a by 4, 3a by 4, 0. Minus 3a by 4, 3a by 4 and 0. Now, we have located all the points. Actually, this question is based on the number of flux and you know that number of flux means we have to find out total charge present in closed, in closed body means Gauss theorem. What is Gauss theorem? What is the statement of Gauss theorem? Gauss theorem is saying number of flux is 1 upon epsilon 0 times of total charge present in Closed body. Very important things. What is the condition for the Gauss theorem? We should have to be know how many charge present in the closed body. So therefore, you should have to be found, find out the sum of the total charge present in this cubical uh, cubical form. Okay. So now number of flux total charge present in enclosed body enclosed body upon epsilon 0 so now one by one we have to find out all the charges enclosed body now you can see the 6c means 6 coulomb charge of the disc so only half part enclosed inside means 3c charge present on the disc enclosed part 
this is a by 2 you have already given a by 2 portion total 5a by 4 minus a by 4 length of this rod you can see that that is a total a length and total a length and total charge is 8c now the charge from this only this part inside of enclosed figure so a by 2 minus a by 4 now you can see that only a by 4 part a by 4 length of the 8c 8c now how much 4 to the 2 2 coulomb charge present inside and here minus 7c now epsilon naught 3 to 5 minus 2c by epsilon naught it is correct answer so therefore you have to see already how the big question but its answer uh, gist essence is very small so keep these things in your mind i hope so you understand thank you for staying till the end of the video and yes don't forget to subscribe my channel that can get the link for the next video thank you Take care and bye-bye.